Hello, welcome back to the fish locker out on the rocks. Now the sun's just setting. What a bit of a drama getting set up. Uh, I want to get the sun. I want to get the uh, the introduction done before it gets dark. We're uh, we're on a rock mark, and uh, we've got about three hours of the ebb, and I'm going to fish down to the ebb, and hopefully one or two hours of the flood. So we're up at the top of the rocks. So we're going to follow it down as it goes. I've got my two rods out there. I've just just about to do the introduction, one of the rods has got a slack line bite on and I've just had a dogfish. Both rods have got my pulley dropper rig on. The one on the left has got sand ale and squid wrap. And the one on the right, a load of ragworm, like a quarter of a pound of ragworm that I had from a previous session. It's all gone manky and stinking and dead. All I did was I just bound it all up and I made like a ragworm sausage that was about that big. Bound it tightly with a bit of elastic and sent that out. Just to use it up really. Yeah, we know it's stinky enough, so much got to find that. The uh, the target today would be smooth out. I'm gonna be using um like I say my pulley dropper rig. Hook lengths are gonna be about two foot twenty pound fluoro, ending in a two o cox and roll specimen extra and uh, penalled with a one o chino. Now I tried those tried that combination previous session and it did really well so I'm hoping it's going to do well for me today. Main bait's going to be peeler crab. Hopefully knocking bite on there now. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a few fish. And here we are just as before same same rod same bait dogfish quite a dark one, but a small one. Just a greedy little sod, isn't he? Swallowed both of those hooks. You can see there, look, it's just a pulley dropper rig, which presents a bait below the weight, ideal for smooth downs and rays. Let's get this little guy unhooked. Unhooking dogfish, Best thing you can do is get hold of the tail, get hold of the head with the same hand like that. And then with the other hand, turn the hooks out. The first dogfish I had gave me a slack line bite, this one was a real positive bite. I'd literally just turn the camera off. There's the panel hook. I might just be able to get this one. Ah, it's gonna be a forceps job. It's one of the beauties of these detachable hook lengths. Take the hook length off, like that, leave him in that pool, put a new hook length on, cast out, when I'm sorted, come back and sort him out. I honestly don't know how I missed that, it was going mad. Let's get back out and see if we can find it. I think it was, it was just on the ragworm but you can see what's left of it look. I think it was probably a wrasse. Bites on both rods. Well, it's a dogfish on that one. 
Das ist ein Bein, das ist ein Bein. This one, if you can believe it. This one, if you can believe it, look. There's a little bullet. And this one, definitely a dogfish. It's weird sometimes how they get them black spots on them. Yes. Yeah. Little double shot, but not what we're after. See there, look, that panel hook. That panel hook there worked perfectly, look. They have got really tough mouths, but they're, uh, they're notorious for just holding on to a bait. When you set the hook through their jaw, you need to really set it. But obviously, because it's got a really hard jaw, once the hook's in it, does not want to come out. There we go. One o cox and roll, you know. <laughs> Got an angry little bullos. Let's see if we can get some baits out. This is all I plan to be using. Is you see there? Look, that's peeler crab and a ragworm sausage. And you can see the hooks are both proud, panel hook, that's a 2 -0 cox and roll specimen extra, and that's a 1-0 chino. And that's what I'm using it on, it's about 2 foot of hook length. Right, I'll show you real quickly how I've been making these baits up. You see there, look, I've got myself a little area, I've got my chopping board from home. The rigs, all I'm doing is a uh, 2 0 cox and roll specimen and a panel of a 1 0 chino. And I've been getting some, some of the old monkey ragworm from like the last session. And just threading four or five just up the hook I'm not going all the way I'm just just threading in half an inch of the worm and sliding them up past it all I want to do is I'm just using them up I'm going to take a peel of crab, a full peel of crab with a hard shell and all you do is you take claws and the legs off. Now I'm keeping all of these because when I get when I get five ten minutes I'll start peeling the legs, taking the legs off. You break the side plates off, crack the corners and you can take the back off like that. I then take Shell fan off and then break the chest off. There you go. That's all soft. If you then take a pair of scissors and cut it, they're roughly there. You don't go all the way through, you just want to open it up like that. And then what you do is you Well we've just missed our first smooth down. That nearly had the rod out of the rest. Quickly get this bait made up. What you're going to do is you're going to thread the hook up like that so the bait ends up straight like this. Just 
See how I'm turning the bait up the hook? There. That's your peeler crab on your hook. That was a good fish that. Nearly couldn't get the rod out of the rest in town. Take me bit elastic. When I can find the end of it. All I'm doing, look, is I'm just making it into a decent shape. Right, if that's one smooth on, there will be more. So I'm going to freshen those baits up now. Get this nice big juicy bait out. And then all I do is you just take the panel, take a couple of three, one, two, three, four turns, and hook through the top of it. And there you are, you're ready to go. That is a well juicy, look at all the percent coming out of it. That doesn't get me a fish, I don't know what will. Right, let's get them baits changed over. What a scrap! What a scrap that guy's just given me! Look at the size of this! Oh, easy tiger! There he is, look! That big ragworm and peeler crab bait! Been out there literally five minutes! What a fantastic fish that is. Taken on, what was I saying? Perfectly hooked on a 1 0 chino on a pedal. Come on, don't be like that. Look at that. Hook's just popped out. That was it. Get this guy in that rock pool there. Whoa, what a mad that was. Clashing about, banging around down there in a good pool of water. I've got water in one of my wellies. But I tell you what, I'll do it all again. <laughs> peeler crab, peeler crab and ragworm mix. Perfect. Let's get a bait back out. Look at this fella here. What a beast he is. Give you some type of reference. Oh, there's a fish. Strike another one for crab. And again, on the Chino panel. Right, and this is us with the panel. Fantastic hooks. I'll give him a second down here. Swallowed the bloody swivel. Never in this world. I hooked one a minute ago and it pulled the hook length off. It parted and it like it, it managed to turn it off the, the trace somehow. And look. There's one trace. There's both hooks. Look at 
There's the other trace. Never in this world. You greedy so and so. It's properly down his throat, like. This is the beauty about smooth downs. They've got no teeth. Couldn't do this with a top. See if I can't feel where them hooks are. You can only do this with fish that don't have teeth. There's the there's the bait. Oh my goodness, if I get, I'll tell you what, if I get this out it'll be a miracle. There's the chino. Oh look at that! There's the second trace! Cannot believe I'm only so unhooked that I was right down inside of his stomach. I couldn't have got my fingers down there and hooked them out. You're welcome. You're welcome, you greedy sod. A very lucky Starry Smooth Hound. Fantastic. <laughs> and I've got my trace back. To try and experiment a little bit, what I did was I knew for definite the crab worked because I had smooth hound after smooth hound. Even lost two. So I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll put a sand ale out, see what happens. Now I, I put a sand ale out, it's been out there for about half an hour. In the meantime, I've landed a smooth hound and lost a smooth hound. And then it's just picked this guy up. That tells me with absolute certainty that it has to be crab. So far, the only thing the sand ale has caught Ooh, wow. is these guys and as soon as you put peeler crab on or as soon as you put peeler crab and ragworm on boom smooth down I mean it, it's almost instant as well I mean it right now as we are we're uh, we're bang on low water and there's only about three foot of water depth in front of me a massive tidal range where I am when I come this area where I am was underwater it was only under a couple of inches of water and I've just moved onto it and now it's four foot down to the water there's only three foot of water I can see when, I'm, when I cast out there's no depth and yet there's still fish there I'll, uh, I've kept a couple of three smooth downs in a, in a pool so we're going to have a look at them I'm going to put my last crab bait out I've had a fantastic time I've got quite a decent drive back to the house though uh, I don't say that smooth down there was a cracker that one that I <laughs> I had two traces in its mouth. I was unbelievably lucky. What I'm having to do is because it's so hectic, because there's, there's rods going and it's taken a lot to fight these fish and bring them in. And if I wasn't paying attention and the drag was up, I could very easily lose one of these rods because it would just take it clean over. What I've had to do is I've backed the drag right off. You can see here, look. Hopefully I got it on my phone. I was just having a look at one of the smooth downs and one of the reels went and I think I videoed a little bit of it But it's just gone zzz, zzz, And all I did was you just pick it up hold the spool tighten the drag just test it enough And then as the fish keeps running lift into it and just play it But they kite about all over the place and there's loads of pinnacles of rocks in the of it. So I'm surprised I haven't lost more fish I'm Fishing with a light plane, I'm only fishing with, with 20 pound fluoro as soon as it comes in contact with the rocks, as soon as they go past, it just past. But well, I've had, um, I've had some cracking fish. So maybe see if we can squeeze out one more. I don't want to be greedy. See if we can squeeze out one more. And then we'll uh, pack up and go. Because I don't know if you can hear the waves. The tide, I think, is just starting to turn. And it's probably going to bring a lot of weed with it. So we'll, we'll fish this out for a little bit longer. Really quickly, if I can do it. Show you the rig that I've been using. Now, it's just my standard pulley dropper. I'll put a link in at the end of here to show you how to make it. Right, that little thing there, that bent Gemini, or is it a bent genie? Bent Gemini? Your hook link, your hook link clicks into there. And then all you do is this part here. This is where the pulley part of the pulley dropper comes in. You link that into there, like that. And it slides around this pulley beam. 
what you think. Flip your hook down to your lead. Like that. So you've got the bait clip down like that and it connects like this here and as soon as that hits the bottom that releases and you end up with let's see it releases and you end up with this hook length down underneath your lead like that so all of these baits have been presented tight on the bottom which is where the smooth downs have been rooting around for crabs and that anyway that's enough talking we'll get this last bit out just lost another smoo down there that's the reason seaweed seaweed caught in the end I couldn't wind it up far enough couldn't get the fish up as soon as it started riding about on the rocks a little floral hook length just parted that was about eight pounds and like I said, as soon as the tide started moving, it would end up getting a lot of weed. Right, it's happened. That's annoying. I heard it right at my feet. If I had someone with me, If I had someone with me, I could have landed four more of these fish. Because all of these hookups that I've been getting have been on the Pennell Chino, the, the Chino Pennell, I thought what I might do is I might try a little circle. So, my last bait that's going out is going to have a circle hook on it. And we'll see if the circle works. It's worth mixing it up a little bit, innit? Just, just a little bit of experimentation. Water is flooding now because I know because that little rock that was in front of me that just got bare at low tide is now covered. So we'll maybe give it another half hour. Start tidying everything up. Let's see if this works. Right, what I've done, this is the last bait with the peeler crab with a circle hook on. Like I said, I've been fishing with a drag off like that so the fish can just pick it up. Otherwise, they end up losing rods out. And we'll hopefully show you what it's like when one picks it up you hear it zipping off oh. I'm not joking this has been the most mental smooth down fishing I've ever had in my life there isn't 15 minutes without fish on they're just mad on the bait straight away that's a fish see what I mean There it goes. Let's get on it. There is your fish. Oh, and what did I, what did I say? Circle look. Look at that. Oh, I tell you what, they've still got some scrap in them. What did I say about it trying that circle? That circle has worked perfectly right in the scissors. I think, I think that's what I want to do from now on just cannot go wrong with these smooth downs tonight get hold of it turn it out yeah. a bit cack handed using my left hand oh I'll tell you what they still put up some scrap 
Oh cracker! Another one that's This one's blind in one eye. That eye's alright, that one's got something wrong with it. Let's get him in that pool with his mates. What did I say? Circle hook. Ah, every single one of them was hooked on the panel. So I think what they've done is they've picked the bait up and turned and moved with it. Because I fished it on the on the ratchet, because I've let it run, I uh, fished it on the, a light drag. As soon as you tighten up and turn, it turns that hook. Which is why your circle hook is perfect. There you are, look, there's the peeler crab bait. Still good enough to use again. I, uh, I've completely lost count of how many I've had. But, it's over a dozen. Um, yeah, easily, I've I've landed over 10 and I've um, I've lost I think four or five re-caught one of them it's incredible I'll pack up and then we'll uh, we'll have a last look at them before I release I've kept a couple of three or four so we can have a good look at them all the other ones because it was that busy I just done up them and let them go we'll have a look at them and then we'll, uh, we'll go on right well that's the session at an end it's uh, at the current tide state, it's about an hour and a half of the flood. So an hour and a half after low water. The water's coursing in. I've had it I've had the craziest smoke down session I've ever had in my life. Um I'm I'm knackered. Uh, my head's fried and I'm knackered. Um just weighed that biggest fish. New PB, 12 pounds 7 ounces. Amazing. 110 centimeters long. It's an absolute beaut. Yeah. Just give you one last look. That one last look at it before we put it back. Look at it. What an absolute beast. Oh, oh, oh easy, easy. an amazing fish built for power this has been this has been the general stamp of fish this size six seven eight pounds maybe six Lovely starry one, that one's got no spots on, but this as you can see, got a lovely starry smooth down spots. They are amazing fish. Uh, there's no. <laughs> oh, get back in that pool, we made. Alright, pulley dropper rig with a two foot of 20 pound fluoro hook length with a 2 o specimen extra and a, a 1 o chino. I also tried a circle hook which worked perfectly and exactly like I thought it was going to. That's going to be my rig of choice from, from now on. I'm going to have a, a 2 o specimen extra and a circle hook as the, as the top of the panel. Um, Sand Island squid just produced dogfish. I've got a little tiny huss. Um, just mega smooth downs. And they all fell to crab or crab and ragworm. It was just crazy. The baits weren't out there five minutes before like boom boom boom. Because I was fishing two rods, because I was having to really quickly bait up. That was the key today. Uh, there were just that that many of them that quick. If I hadn't have pre-baited like five five hook lengths, because I knew this was gonna happen. As soon as they come on in a pack like that, it's like ah bang, bang, bang. So pre-baiting is key. If you if you Bait up three or four hook lengths, keep them in a tub, all you have to do, change over, change over, change over. And you've capitalised on that pack moving past. Otherwise you might only get two, whereas I'll get five. Uh, hook lengths parted on a, a few. Uh, like I say, landed over ten. That last that last one there was... Oh, I'm happy to say my last fish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my head's fried, I don't even know what to say. 
I, I hope this is I hope this has been fun to watch I hope this video turns out because it's, it's been a fantastic session I hope this has shown you um, a good way of targeting smooth downs I um, hope it's shown you that you don't have to go mega big with the baits some people use two three four peeler crabs I was just using one peeler crab and it was more than enough one time well I even caught one fish that I'd swallowed two I had um, I had a bit of like a weird bite and I had it on for a couple of seconds and it come off and when I wound in my hook length was gone just the whole lot was gone so somehow it slipped off the swivel and then five minutes later caught another fish two hook lengths coming out of its mouth fished around inside managed to unhook it that was my hook length that I'd lost so that same fish had been rooting, out, rooting around out there I'd hooked it once and it had taken the trace and then I hooked it a second time and then landed it so I am missing a fish doesn't put them off they must just be absolutely voracious let me know how you go on if you get smooth on fishing let me know what your uh, your preferred rig is in the meantime have a good one I just cannot get over this fish it's just a shark isn't it